Hi, I'm Tony McGuire, and I'm here at the 2006 Winter NAMM Show in Anaheim, California. I'm here to show you the Roland SH201 synthesizer, brand new for 2006, comes out in June. Let's take a look at it, very simply laid out. No screen, no shift button, no menu button, what you see is what you get. And it's kind of set up for, let's say, the uh, education market, where if you're learning synthesis for the first time, it's easily laid out. You have your oscillator section, it points the arrow into the mixer section, points another arrow into your filter, into your amp, and then finally into your effects with modifiers along the way. Very easy to understand, easy to get around on. Also, there's an external in section where it has its own audio filter. So if you plug something into it, maybe a drum machine, an uh, iPod, you can filter that information separately from how you're filtering the synthesizer information. It is 10 voice polyphony, so 10 notes at once. You can have up to four oscillators playing at the same time, which is maybe cut down the polyphony a little bit, but give you a much fatter sound. Then also, this engine inside here is the analog modeling engine of the V-Synth and has a lot of the same waveforms that you'd see in the V-Synth or the JP8000, the Super Saw, the feedback oscillator, your sine and your saw waves as well. Now, the USB connection on the SH201 streams audio and MIDI to and from the computer, either your Mac or your PC, which then makes the SH201 an audio interface, much like the V-Synth XT does. So then all you need is one cable between the two, and then plug your, your speakers into the keyboard, and you're ready to go. The SH-201 also is the first Roland synthesizer to have VSTI support, meaning that it shows up as a plug-in inside of, let's say, Cubase or Cakewalk, Sonar, Ableton Live, any of those. And we'll take a look here. I can open up the editor. And you have your editor area. You have a lot more parameters here that you can get to. You have the live-oriented parameters on the front panel. But if you, just like any other uh, software instrument, if you make changes here in your software or on the hardware, when you save your project, all those temporary changes come right back when you load up the song. But there's also a new area, the write area, where changes that you made, you can write into the keyboard. So then when you go to the gig, you can just simply disconnect it from your computer and all the sounds are inside your keyboard for the gig. Really cool thing to have.